All right, here we go. I'm finally getting to it. After putting it off so many times before, maybe a few months, maybe a year or two, who knows? But you know, as the old saying goes, when it rains, it pours. And what that means for you is, over the next few months, I'm going to be rolling out a few different variations of these type of videos. But before we jump into the video, we want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Water H Smart Bottle. But we get into more on that later and make sure you stick around to the end of this video. Trust me. Now, since this is the first video in the series, I am going to show you my minimalist everyday tech carry for 2023. And this is literally the stuff that I take with me every day, especially when I'm trying to stay lightweight and nimble. And then after that, the next video is going to be my productivity sling bag. And then the next video that followed that one is going to be my tech slash camera backpack for travel and work. Trust me, you don't want to miss any of these videos because the best part for you is in all of these videos, including this one, I am going to be giving away some of the products that I feature. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on, drop a like on this video and leave a comment as to what your favorite EDC product is from this episode, along with your Instagram username, since that is the direct way that I will contact you after I announce the winner in about two or so weeks from now. So make sure you don't fall for any of the spam comments telling you about send money for shipment and all that kind of stuff down in the comment section. Okay, so the EDC loadout that I'm gonna show you in this video is the everyday tech carry that I use when I'm running some quick errands or if I'm out with the family and the kids and I want to keep things simple, but still stay fully equipped and get my inspector gadget on. If you're like me, then you probably always used to have your pockets overloaded like a busy squirrel on picnic day in the park. So in order to fix that, I went out and got myself the modern day Fera Active Sling, which is one of the most stylish, minimalist, premium, modern EDC sling bags you can get right now on the market. At just under two liters, the form factor of this one is absolutely ideal, especially if you're trying to stay lightweight and nimble while still remaining stylish AF. But the thing that sold me on this bag is the quick and easy access, which is also one of the best features that I've ever seen on any sling bag. And that is because this has no zips to access the main compartment. This allows me to access things really quickly. Boom, I'm in and out just like that. Don't have to fiddle around with any zippers and the bag is locked and everything is secure which is a major plus sometimes while I'm driving and I want some chapstick or something. This thing feels super premium and it's engineered really well. Great for EDC basic. I think the reason why this thing feels so solid is first it's extremely lightweight even when I packed it to the gills and it's also made with X-Pac VX21 seal claw which is the same waterproof, rip proof, ultra dual material that you see used on modern day sailboats and you know those sails are almost indestructible as far as heavy duty wind and daily wear and tear is concerned. As I mentioned earlier this has no zip to open the main compartment like most typical sling bags so it has a unique flap design that just folds over and automatically close itself with two really strong magnetic fit lock buckles that have three different lock adjustment levels depending on how much stuff you pack inside. There's also another fit lock buckle on the adjustable strap that allow you to easily take off and put on the bag. These straps feels pretty nice and comfortable even when the bag is fully loaded. All right, when you open the main compartment, the internal is divided into two different sections, a wide spacious area with two additional mesh accessory pockets and a narrow private area, perfect for your smartphone to sit in. And it also has a hidden zipper pocket that is really easy to miss if you don't know that it's there which makes it ideal to stash a little cash. If you want to check it out I'll leave some links down below. This thing is worth every single penny. My current daily driver is the Pixel 7 Pro, a truly remarkable device and definitely one of Google's best smartphone to date and one of the best smartphones on the market you can buy right now and if not the best in terms of overall camera quality and photo delivery it is definitely in the top three 
And in all the other performance metrics, it has been a stellar performer except for the temp controls, but I wouldn't trade it. Definitely one of my favorite smartphones. I think if you're watching this video at a time when it dropped, you can get one of these for about $6.99, coming down from about $8.99 which definitely saves you about 200 bucks. The watch that is currently on my wrist is the Google Pixel Watch. It has a really elegant, minimalist look and feel with a really bright, vivid 1.2 inch AMOLED display at 41 millimeters. And it's packed with all the bells and whistles, continuous heart rate monitoring, sleep tracking, stress monitoring, sports and fitness tracking, step counter, get all your notifications, weather, calendar, music, streaming and controls, Google Assistant, make and receive calls, you name it, this thing has it. Two gigs of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, Wear OS 3, with full Fitbit integration. The model that I have here is the LTE version for about 319 on sale right now. But you can get the Wi-Fi version for about 289-ish right now, coming down from about 349.99 which is a really nice discount for a really good watch. I definitely love this one and I never leave the house without it. Okay, so just in case I'm running low on juice, I use the TN Tour 3500 milliamp power portable power bank with a built-in Type-C cable to juice up my phone just enough until I get back home. And as you can see, this thing is probably one of the thinnest 3,500 milliamp power power bank you can buy right now. And they're also available with lightning port as well for iPhone users. Plus it's lightweight, slim and compact. So it takes up virtually almost no space in this bag, which makes it ideal for a minimalist setup like this one. My favorite earbuds right now is probably one of the best in class as far as over overall sound quality and audio fidelity is the status between three triple driver true ANC acoustic marvel earbud and the one that I have here is in the bone white colorway but you can get it in the black onyx if you like whatever your preference is. I have a lot of earbuds, way more than I actually showcase on this channel. And this is by far one of the best sounding ANC pair I've come across in a long time. Far superior to the AirPods Pro, Gen 2, Galaxy Buds Pro, any Gen, the Sony's, the Beats. Think of your favorite, favorite pair of earbuds right now. Insert name right here. Yes, these are that good. But apart from being the best sounding earbuds on the market right now. It also has some of the other creature comforts that you would come to expect from a premium pair of earbuds that cost about $200, which is a major discount right now coming down from $250. It has great battery life, IPX5 water resistant, noise cancellation, transparency mode, multi-point connection, touch control along with button control, as well as app control control for the EQ and other settings. The volume can get really high while still maintaining superior audio performance and low distortion. I guess the biggest shortcoming in my opinion, they are a little chunky monkey and there is no LDAC, Aptex HD or high res audio codec support as well as no in-ear wear detection. But with all those shortcomings, this still technically beat the brakes of most of all the other earbuds that are available on the market right now. So with that, I would have to say this is a reigning champ and my favorite pair of 2023. You can hat me, you can uh, comment, you can do whatever you want. Technically, I don't think this can be beat. In one of the admin mesh pocket, I keep my favorite Bastion Bolt Action Pen in my favorite colorway. This blue color, just in case you didn't know, blue's my favorite color. And as you can see, this slim, compact form factor make it the ideal pen to take with me every day. It also comes in a few other fun colors and it can make a great gift for almost anyone who truly appreciate cool, unique things that makes them stand out. I like this one 
a lot. I also have the lever gear USB-C keychain that also includes an iPhone lightning adapter so you can attach it which means you're gonna always have the right cable for the job regardless if it's Android or iPhone with just one cable and it also comes with a sim card ejection tool for when you on the go off jet setting and you want to switch things up. Also still carry my Sandisk ultra dual drive USB type C to USB A 3.1 128 gigabyte thumb drive. It's not the fastest, but it's convenient, especially if you want to collect some files on the go really quick, or if you just want to free up some space on your smartphone. Now, this next thing is probably one of the most important thing that I'll show in this video, and I believe everybody needs one. Go out and order a bunch of them right now. They're really cheap. You can get a four pack for about 12 bucks and just give them to your friends and family because this could literally save their lives. This is the JS Aux USB data blocker and to put it simply, this can save you from a world of butt ache, also known as juice jacking. Now I'm not going to go through all the details of what juice jacking is in this video. You can look that up after you finish watching this video. But in short, juice jacking is where someone can compromise your smartphone or tablet with malware using almost any source that can charge your device. Basically how it works when you are not protected by something like a data blocker the attacker can install the malware on your device the very instant you plug it in to charge it up and secretly copy all your sensitive data such as your banking info and all your sensitive credentials I have a bunch of these scattered everywhere in my car my different bags I never leave the house without it. Go out right now and order a bunch of them. I'll leave the links down in the description. Order a bunch of them, give them to your friends and family. It's better to be safe than sorry. You can come back and thank me later. Another thing that you can find in that same admin pocket is my Whoosh screen cleaning kit, which is a 0.3 ounce spray bottle of tech and gadget cleaning solution with the included microfiber cloth. Really good stuff. While on the go, you definitely want to stay hydrated which is why you may need one of these water age spot bottles. And the basic function of this water bottle is to keep you replenished by tracking how much water you drink and make sure you hit your daily water intake goal via some smart reminders that keep you on track between sips. However, the smart bottle tracks so much more than just your hydration. It also calibrates your data over time and recommend how you can achieve your hydration goals based on your physiology and personal preferences. It also has some TDS water quality sensor built in which actually makes sure that you never have to guess the quality of the water that you're drinking. In a nutshell TDS means total dissolved solids. These sensors measure the dissolved combined contents of inorganic and organic substance in your water and then give you an instant report on dangerous substance present in your water so that you can avoid drinking contaminated tap water or water from other sources that contain micro contaminants. means that you not only stay hydrated but you also stay healthy. If you want more info on the water age smart bottle I'm gonna leave some links at the top of the description box to this one as well as all the other products that I mentioned in this video. You can't walk around talking to people with your crusty lips so I always have my Burst Bees moisturizing lip care. You also want to make sure that you're not punching people in the side of their necks with your hashy breath. So I never leave the house without my Smint Sugar Free Breath Mint known famously for its distinct packaging that dispenses one Smint at a time. I used to buy these a lot back in the days when I was a kid at the stop and go or the 7-eleven at the corner and this is about 15 to 25 times more potent than a TikTok, so you know you're gonna feel that cold rush like a snowstorm activated in your mouth to cool things down and now it's available online so I can just order them by the dozens and never run out and the best part these are made with 100% xylitol which is known to provide a lot of health benefits for your mouth to prevent dental caries. Get yourself some smints or any other mint that is made with xylitol. Definitely don't want that sugar. Personally, I think smint is the best, but 
to each his own. I also carry some toothpicks in my little side-by-side -side Ziploc pouch just in case along with some of these dude wipes on the go flushable wipes. Trust me these come in really handy especially when I'm out with kids. You know how kids are they find some of the most creative ways to get themselves messy and these things save my life all the time. You always want to put your best foot forward and smelling good is a major key to that. So I always have a decant in these travel size atomizers with my favorite scent of the day. Whichever one I'm wearing at a time so I can reapply as needed and infuse the entire atmosphere with some amazing fragrance. Because you know we're the fragged guillotine boys and we have to remind everyone who's the best smelling in the building without offending of course but still keep everybody intoxicated with the fragrance so the ladies can't resist the urge to come over and ask excuse me what fragrance are you wearing some of my absolute favorite right now is the jean vavato's artisan pure and the rosacea was this thing is absolutely incredible. It's fresh, it's clean. It also smells very expensive and upscale. When you put this on, people are gonna believe that you are very wealthy, you're well off, and you're well put together and established. This thing is incredible. And a matter of fact, every time I put this on, every single time I put this on, I get at least three or four different random unsolicited comments from people who just smell it and can't help themselves. The same thing goes for this one. As you can see, the bottle's empty because like I said, we're them guillotine boys. When I'm spraying, I go heavy all the time. So as soon as I'm empty, I gotta re-up. So, you know, I go. I keep my shades in these need full leather case. And it depends on the time of day. I might just switch out my actual glasses for my shades or vice versa. And speaking of shades, I currently rock the knockaround sunglasses almost exclusively because they are, first of all, stylish AF. Let's get that out there. And they're also really affordable. So you can scratch them or break them. No sweat. You can get a replacement. I have a bunch of them and I'm going to get a bunch more because they're so versatile. And stylish. I can't leave the house without my EDC flashlight, you just never know. And one that is always inside the active sling is the Rovia Vaughn Aurora A26 pocket thrower. This thing is a little beast in its own right because it is capable of projecting a long beam distance of up to 180 meters in turbo mode at 600 lumens with a cool white LED for the primary front light. And my favorite feature on this light is a triple tap on the same button turn on the uv black light so you can see what the heck is in the bed sheets in the hotel or your airbnb or maybe you just want to use it so you can see if them dollar bills that someone is handing you is counterfeit you just turn it on shine that uv light and check it i absolutely love this thing it is incredible and an absolute must have for every single man is a great EDC night. I have a few of them, but the two that get rotated the most are the Kaiser Critical Mini with that one click blade and the carbon fiber scale with that red accent around the pivot and that Kaiser Sheepdog with that sheep foot blade and that rich light handle in red. Really good knives, beautiful design, nice materials, well designed, rock solid with good detent, great action, and the sound, oh that sound, definitely fidget territory for sure. My wallet usually stays in my pocket, but occasionally I'll take it and put it inside a sling bag for different reasons. And the one that I've been using for a few years now is the Need Slide Mini Wallet, which is a bifold style card holder that is capable of holding up to eight cards and some cash. My key organizer is the Midnight titanium key bar outfitted with a deep carry clip, a flathead screwdriver tool, the new bottle bomber tool, a nail file. If you want to buy any of these for yourself or you just want to get some more information on any one of them, check the links down in the description. Also, if you made it this far into the video, you are one of the real ones and one of the main reasons why I do these videos and I find cool new things to share with you guys. 
do me a huge favor and drop a geeky glasses emoji down in the comment section to show some love and let me know that you're one of the real ones who always watch the videos all the way to the end liking and commenting and showing support remember to hit the like button on your way out and if you want to see more cool stuff like this click my face to get subscribed 